da 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 Hey guys, me Cindy, and yes, this is a different location. I'm actually filming in my kitchen. And I just came back from church, so that's why you can see me wearing something nice. Anyway, um, I have to re-upload this review on the Vampire Diaries because I said something that never actually happened in the episode on Thursday, so I have to re-upload this video. Hope you guys don't mind. So this was season 6, episode 10. It's called Christmas Through Your Eyes. And left off when Kai finally out hunting Joe down. And thumbs up if you think that the opening part is kind of creepy when Kai pretend to be like a patient and attack Joe in the emergency room. Good job, Kai. So basically, maybe in this review, you guys may hear me saying Kai, 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 Kai. Because all about Kai getting revenge after, like, what, 14 or 18 years to merge with Joe and reunite with Liv and Lucas of the Coven family. And it was really sad because, you know, from the last episode when the girl who pretended to be Sarah Salvatore but it was really Monique and, you know, Enzo snapped her neck and she died, of course. And Matt thinks that Enzo is killing a lot of people, so Matt teamed up with Jeremy to try to kill Enzo, but while across the border, Kai took the Traveler's magic, so the border is breaking off. So Vampire is somehow free to step into Mystic Falls once again. Thank you, Kai. And... Like, it was strange when, like, when a lark flew across the border, and then Damon crossed the border, and then Lark's like, how are you alive? Well, Kai removed the Traveler's magic, so Kai is, has more power than Liv and Lucas and Joe. And yes, Joe got her powers back, sort of, but she needs to boost up because she hasn't used her magic in, like, what, 18 or 14 years? So, hopefully, well... Comment below if you guys think that um, is Joe able to beat Kai? Because now, you know, Kai's all boosted up with energy and he has more power than his family. And it was really sad when Elena and Stefan found out that Caroline's mom has a brain tumor. And Caroline's mom didn't have time to tell Caroline or anybody else. And do you think Chef Forbes is going to die? Comment below. And then, later at the end, when Elena wants to talk with Damon with something, and guess what? Damon couldn't see anyone outside the door, because you know what? Kai did a cooking spell. So, after this episode, Kai is planning to torture Elena for something. And, you know, remember the blue card that Damon blew up? Stefan brought, rebuilt it, and... Brought it back to Damon. So, yeah. So anyway, just in case you guys missed watching this episode, I'll post a link below. It's the CWTV website. You go onto the website, click on Shows, click on The Vampire Diaries, and after that, on the bottom, you can see all the recent episodes on the bottom. So, you're welcome. Anyway, I know, guys, it's in the mid-season finale, which means the next episode comes back on January 22nd. I know, I have to wait another month. So sad. I hate when they do the mid-season thing. It's so, like, make us wait. Anyway, I'll see you guys really soon. Don't worry, even though I'm taking a month off doing these reviews, I'll still be posting my normally routine videos on this channel, so... You won't be that bored, so I'll see you guys later.